it's that time of year again. Welcome to episode one of Just Another Chris Halloween Special, season two. Season two. In this episode, we'll be learning all about expired film. If you remember from last year, we tested out Fuji Instax expired film. Link in the description if you missed that one. So this time I figured, why not test some expired Polaroid film? I got quite a bit of it. So sit back, grab some egos, and let's dive in. The film we'll be testing today are iType film, 600 film, Spectra film, and even some Mio film, Polaroid film. I have doubts on this one, but we're gonna test it out. Special shout out to Dave Knopp for sending the Mio film and huge thank you to Caleb and Alex for graciously donating a Spectra film for this video. Links to their socials will be down in the description below and plus you'll be seeing them pop up in this video. If you're thinking of buying some expired film, there are a few things that you uh, should know before you dive into it. Firstly, check when it expired. On the side of the box, you will see a production date. You will get the best results within the first year of that date. Anything after that is when you can run into some problems or as some might say, creative opportunities. In each photo, there's a chemical pod that develops a photo. So when you take a picture as the photo ejects, what it's doing is it's spreading that chemical across the image. And in the case of expired film, the chemical could start to dry out and cause pictures to not develop correctly or at all, or maybe just partially develop. But with expired film that you do get results with, the results could come out like your images being foggy or with this ghostly streak across the picture or just color shifts, just to name a few. The other thing to keep in mind is the battery. SX70, 600, and Spectra film all have batteries inside the film packs. So the older it is, the higher the chance the battery could be dead or partially dead. You could always transfer the film into another pack that has a good battery and you can do that by using like a changing bag or a dark room uh, that would be a good workaround in that case this is done in the dark in the dark do this in the dark or if it is 600 film that you are using and there's a dead battery you can always pop that into an eye type camera and you would be good to go since those cameras don't need a battery in the film pack to operate there's a battery built into the camera storage if you're buying the film from someone be sure to ask them how they have had it stored. If it's been cold stored, AKA in a refrigerator, then the film will most likely still perform decently, at least for the first couple of years past the expiration date. However, if it's been sitting on the shelf for a couple of years or more, results could vary wildly. Rule of thumb is though, don't pay a lot for expired film. The older the film gets, the more light it needs in my experience. They tend to come out a little bit darker. So either add more light or just, you know, bump up that exposure compensation. Now let's take a quick break and look at this Mio film. It's kind of its own special category. It's Polaroid film, but it's basically a rebranded Instax film. And I'm pretty sure this expired either in 2008 or 2003. I'm not 100% sure. It's either 2008 of March or it's August of 2003 expiration. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I love you GH5, but your autofocus sucks. I am at the Vancouver Mall in Vancouver, Washington, not Canada. And I'm in this really awesome selfie studio, I guess it is. Check this out. Vase set up for photos. Look at this. Everywhere I point the camera. Hey, hi guys. How's it going? Hey. Where are my models today? <laughs> like everywhere I point this thing, there's somewhere cool. So we're going to pass the phone.
This is the Polaroid Instax film. It's not Instax though. It's Polaroid Mio. Okay, it's either 2003 or 2008. Ooh, it smells really weird. You wanna smell it? Oh, weird. You wanna smell it? It's, 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 it's dissipating. It was stronger. But <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Take your bets to see if this will actually work. All right. I guess it'll be my the test subject. You have the cool glasses and all right. I'm gonna shoot some bright colors with bright light because I think it's probably gonna need that. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, it spread some, but um, I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna work. Let's find out together. <laughs> And yeah, so none of those photos actually worked, unfortunately. Uh, that's a huge bummer. I was hoping to get at least one photo, but no, this stuff, if you find it, stay away, it don't work. Expired film can be super fun to mess around with. It adds that extra level of, you just never know what you're gonna get in your photos. As an extra bonus test, I traveled to Ohio recently and shot some of these photos for this video. What I normally do is when I travel, I have TSA hand check my film. That way it doesn't go through the x-ray. But one of the stranger things I type packs, I left open and put it through the x-ray anyway. Uh, didn't use it while I was there, I uh, didn't get to it. So it traveled back with me again and I didn't hand check it and I had it run through the x-ray again. I wanted to see what would happen. Would it ruin the film? Let's see those results. Perfectly fine. <laughs> There's some color shifts, sure, but that's mainly due to the date of the film because it is a couple years expired, um, and as well as the lighting. I shot most of these indoors at a mall under fluorescent lights, so you're gonna get some interesting colors with that. But honestly, the Stranger Things film, I think is my favorite of all the expired films. It gives a really, really unique look. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below, let's chat. So is expired film actually worth buying after all this? I would say yes. Just don't go out and spend a lot of money on it. I had to, unfortunately, to make this video. <laughs> I'll be posting a lot more of these photos from this entire series of my Halloween special over on Instagram. So if you wanna check those out, there's a link in the description below, as well as a link to the Patreon page where you can actually join the monthly print club, which is a photo subscription. Plus you get fun bonus content if you're into that sort of thing. And be sure to check back tomorrow for the next episode, which is all about instant photography hacks. I can't wait, it's gonna be a really, really fun one. Now. Get out there, make some art.